like a turtle method, please give it up for the lovely Dick Coughlin. <laughs> Microphone in this bloody. <laughs> I've been doing this for 17 fucking years, and I knew there would be a point when I go, You've made it, Rich, you're in a shed in Welling Road. Filled with beer, you walked in, tripped over, and penetrated the guy in the fucking front of you. Everyone, you're practically in the back. You're, this is the backstage area now, we're here. Sure. We, we don't fuck around, that's to my fucking crap addiction earlier over there. Thanks for that, well that's my payment. Now we've got a stage, we've got a stage, yeah we can fucking do this, right here we go. <laughs> oh, right. This is a bit risky, I'll get rid of the mic stand, because people get me in the mic stand confused if I stand too close. <laughs> I mean, that people think I'm on stage with Russell Brand, and we don't fucking need that at the moment. I do get that comparison because I wear tight jeans, and that's not fair. I like to think of myself as a cross between Russell Brand and a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Total method. Jesus Christ. Thirteen fucking years, nearly killed myself four times, and I, and I get a bit of a meth head. It's like... It's like, it's, like bringing, it's like bringing Joseph Fricks on saying he's a bit of a pervert. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is wonderful, I love this. It's just, see, I've done the comedy store, don't worry. I've died, I died on the comedy, on my ass on the comedy store. That's 500 people. I could fuck this up, no problem, right? I, I wouldn't even have to try in the train stations there. I'm actually, I'm not even in Wellingborough. I'm behind where I got off the train. <laughs> I'm going to do this more often, yeah. Um, you won't want me to, but I think it doesn't seem to be too formal. Here. Here we go. Don't break the fourth wall, anyway. Yeah, you do the comedy store, it's quite flashy when you go there, because you go down the stairs where it's under, and you've got all these pictures of all the people who've played there. Robin Williams and Lee Evans and unfortunately Ben Elton, but we don't have that. We have a picture of an old steam engine, this guy, and, and this guy over here, he used to headline every single show. Let me tell you. <laughs> His name was, oh God, was, no, bit, bit dodgy jokes now, you couldn't tell them nowadays, but you know, it was different times back then, wasn't it mate, you were know, now here. Uh, I'm from Market Harbour and you alone have made it proven that Willingborough is much more multicultural and diverse. I've seen, I've seen one, I've seen one dark-skinned human being in Market Harbour since I moved there. No, it wasn't you, it wasn't you, it was a charity shop with a gollywog in the window. Oh, now, <laughs> a gollywog to a charity shop, that's what I'm thinking. Who thinks we need to sell this and then give the money to Oxfam? Who then, and they can't even find, I'm sick of people, we're gonna run out of things that can be accused of sexual deviance soon, aren't we? Fucking Oxfam! They're not, but they've been pimping out their volunteers to people. They're not 50 cent, it's like fucking, you know, it's like finding out Dr. Bernardo's was a pedo. It's like, <laughs> And he probably was at this freaking stage. It's like, I can't fucking keep track of it all. Anyway, but I come from a mixed background, as you can see. My mum was Irish and my dad was a biro refill. This is how I'm <laughs> get this, get this slipstream. I am quite, uh, I am quite thin. I want to make it clear, though. I'm not ill, right? This, I know I look ill, right? This is just what I'm rocking. Now, this is the look. <laughs> I'm going, I quit, I had to quit taking drugs when cold turkey 12 years ago. That's how fucking stoned I was. I, I've been sober for 12 years and I still look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't worn off yet. You know, that's how much I was doing. Yeah. But actually, I actually am a big supporter of the government's war on drugs, which is why I used to go around my estate and make sure there was none left for anyone else to fucking buy. You know? <laughs> And, um, yeah. and also, uh, normally when a comedian comes on stage, they normally do something like, they try and relate to me once by saying, oh, I look like someone. They say, I know what you're thinking. Idiot me. No, you don't fucking know. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't look like anyone. I look like no one. I look like a bloke who didn't have much time left. You know, this is what I, this is why I wear skinny clothes. I wear skinny clothes because if I wear anything slightly loose, I look like they used to fit, but don't anymore. You know? <laughs> it's quite, but this look, this, I call it terminal chic. 
<laughs> if I'm wearing all black, emo therapy, I think it works very good. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's got it's not ideal, granted, but it's got its advantages. Um, if you look a bit forlorn in Tesco's and the queue's long, they'll let you go in the front of the ship, fucking trolley full of facts and beer, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, if you're really desperate, you know, you want a holiday, you've got no options, shave your head, get into Disneyland, fuck all, no problem, right? Okay, so you can just go for it. Oh god, that was a bit much, was it that one? That sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Banana's been a pedo, you weren't as problematic with that one, but <laughs> the idea that a man who looks ill is fair. It's also a problem when you're trying to meet women, you know, because if women who take an interest in you, I think they're just chatting to me because they've got something and they think I've got it as well, and that's why they're talking to me, you know? <laughs> uh, and then uh, you don't want to ask for a, you don't want to take a fucking birth certificate out there. I love that, just Simple. shouting. I'm getting, I thought I was getting heckled then, but it's a bloke ordering a pint, and this is. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Come on, what do you want now? Come on, let's, let's, let's not piss around. Right. <laughs> Drinks are on this night. Watch it. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, but normally, I know what I did. All I did was a couple of, about two years ago, I dyed my hair blonde. Suddenly, I looked like loads of different fucking people. But I don't look like any one specific person. I look like a specific person in a very specific scenario. For example, I got told I looked like a uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings <laughs> with a flock of seagulls haircut. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he slept on it funny. That was another one. <laughs> I got, um, uh, what was the other one? I got, oh yeah, uh, the Walking Dead zombie version of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> or my, fav my personal favourite was Tim Roth if he was a Russian porn star. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I don't do, I don't look, but however, when I was a kid, I wasn't very good at chatting women up. I know you might think, you might think, oh, Richard, no. I, I can see women going for this really angry, overbearing, fucking energetic guy. I want to make it clear, the reason I'm so hyperactive, as you can see I have these things, I have a nervous disorder. You think, no, Richard, no. I, I, some people think, oh, is he acting? Is he drunk? Is he on drugs? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been on drugs since. Oh, bang out. There you go, right. So we've... But no, I've got a nervous disorder. I've actually, I've actually got two nervous disorders. One that kills my nerves and one that makes me lose control of them. It's a wonderful little ballet of shite we've got going on here. But um, I've actually got Tourette's syndrome. Right? Now, I know... Let me stop you there. Because I know I've said Tourette's syndrome and you all got very excited. Right? Because you thought, oh, brilliant. Because Tourette's syndrome is the one disability that we're all allowed to have a bloody good laugh, ain't we? There's no one takes Tourette's. They have these documentaries that are like, oh, it's in the personal interest. Some bloke will go around going, wake up, fuck, shit. And he's in, in a mother care. And we're watching it just going, and you're watching it going, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it's very, you're learning so much from this. But I haven't got that Tourette's syndrome. I've got the other one, which is like diet, caffeine-free, unleaded fucking Tourette's syndrome, which basically means I have a few ticks and twitches, but I can control it and there's nothing really there. You wouldn't notice if I've got it. And then people, when I tell them this, they get angry and pissed off with me because they were excited. They, they thought, and they, get, and they go, well, that's fucking not Tourette's, that's shit Tourette's, fuck you. I've got a disability that pisses people off and upsets them. Don't, don't confuse them. You wouldn't, they would come up to me, like, this is Tourette's syndrome. They go, oh, God, mate, do it. Go on, do it, go on, do it, it'd be hilarious, go on, do it. You wouldn't go up to a bloke with throat cancer and say, get on the karaoke, mate, it'd be fucking hilarious, go on. <laughs> <laughs> you, wouldn't go, you wouldn't take Stephen Hawking's paintball in, would you, just to fuck with it? Well, that would be my make-a-wish if I got one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've, uh, so I've got, I've got Tourette's syndrome, and uh, you know, we, did, we actually had a protest last year because we feel that we're being a bit too victimised and made fun of, and uh, we go, what do we want? A cure for Tourette's? When do we want it? Cunts! <laughs> <laughs> It's just I've got peripheral neuropathy, which means my arms and legs are going numb. Um, which you can't even tell. Again, no fucking, you can't prove, nothing. There's no evidence that I'm disabled. I've got to wear these fucking things, which makes me look like I'm trying really hard to be fucking unuseless in a fight. What, completely fucking, you, you know, there's less of me to hit. That's my one defence. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one defence that I found. Um, I did a gig in Ireland. Um, I'm from, no, my last name's Coughlin. Which, well, actually, my last name's Irish. It's supposed to be pronounced Coughlin. But I don't want to be called Dick Coughlin. Because that's, that's three syllables and too, too much penis in the three. That's 66% of penis in one name. 
That's too much. So I did this gig in Northern Ireland, in Derry. Have you ever been there? Don't go. It's fucking horrible. It's, there, it's, it's horrific. And, uh, I don't care, you can make as many songs and I go, no, it's, you know, it's just bollocks, right? You can play, <laughs> play as many euros. Oh, the English concert. Keep yeah, coping, then. I just get the fuck on with it. Now, the, um, but yeah, so, so I'm in this gig in Derry. And uh, I'm a bit nervous, because, uh, like, it's Northern Ireland and I grew up in the 80s. When you only ever heard an Northern Irish accent, it was blacked out completely and you had a balaclava on. <laughs> and it was assuring you that you didn't know where you fucking lived. And I think, did you miss the IRA? They used to give you a five minute warning. You had to phone up. <laughs> <laughs> it blew up. It blew up. One of these bloody Muslims, wasn't it? No. They don't give you a fucking minute's notice, do you? They just. It's far too fucking scary for me. But anyway, so I'm doing this gig in North in Derry, Northern. Sorry, mate, I've knocked your drip tray over. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I walk on stage, looking as I am now, right? Here we go. And <laughs> I walk on stage as I am now, and, I, and there's a guy in the front row, and I don't know who it was, but he goes, the, the audience applause died down, and before I've said anything, he goes, excuse me, in that kind of understated Northern Irish accent. It sounds like a leprechaun and a rape alarm have had a baby. <laughs> He said, excuse me! That Ian plays is in the front row. Yes, mate. He goes, are you gay? Now, when someone asks you that question with that level of aggression and uh, with that sort of face that doesn't blink, you know they're not, they're not asking for a friend. They're not inquiring. <laughs> they're not asking in good faith. They're trying to undermine your fucking confidence. Right? So I thought, well, I can play along with this. I can, I can, I'll try this. I'll see if I can get something out of this. So I went, I said to the guy, this is honestly what happened, 100% true. I went, what makes you think I'm gay? He goes, because you look like you've got AIDS! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, ooh, 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 I'm stuck in there, on stage then. <laughs> Shit, he's got a point there, hasn't he? I'm fucked now. <laughs> and I'll come back with a witty retort to that, I'm kind of bugging it. So it's, and when you're on stage and you say nothing, it goes forever. It felt like, for, it must have been 10, 12 seconds, but it felt like a lifetime. And I couldn't think of anything to do. And then I looked down and the guy's laughing going, ha ha, I thought, fuck it, so I spat in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know if I've got eggs, mate, but could you let me know in six months when you fucking get the results back? <laughs> Later, uh, is, is that time, is it? Or... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. good, thank God for that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if you get this impression, folks, but um, tonight, I, I mean, I've um, been doing stand-up for 17 years. Honestly, I've been doing it 17 years. I look, how, look where I've made it to. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go home and kill myself. Now, the, look, when you, anyone can be famous when they're good, can't they? Do you realise <laughs> how difficult it is for me to go 17 years and maintain a consistent level of irrelevance and anonymity when I'm as talented as this? <laughs> I've done a gig for eight months actually because I've been doing other stuff and I came on it tonight with fuck all planned. And I don't know if you know this, I was winging it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> don't let anyone know, I don't want word to leak out. What's the fucking little outhouse in Wellingbrook kick? <laughs> You're fucked. But this has been wonderful. I'm going to get my train very quickly and go back home. Uh, and have a shower because I'm knackered. Thanks very much, sir. Sorry about the drift, sir.